I am Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is David Baker. Now he is an entrepreneur and he's listed in Who's Who in Industry and Finance, Who's Who in America, and Who's Who in the World. Welcome back, David. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And I know we're going to have another uh, great conversation. And this one we're going to be talking about, or you're going to be talking about, Ron Paul. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, he ran how many years ago? Well, uh, the last time he ran was uh, uh, 2008. 2008. Mm -hmm. Okay, he ran for uh, president. And he is now running again? Yes, he is. Yes, he's running again. Okay, so tell me, has Ron Paul changed since well, 2008 well, to I'm, now? Or is I'm, his policies just the same? Uh, well, uh, I'm glad you asked me that one because... <laughs> Uh, in, in 2008, he had written a book called Ron Paul Speaks, expressing his, his views on various subjects. And matter of fact, I have a, a copy of it here. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, he arranged the, uh, uh, the various subjects alphabetically so that if you were uh, mm -hmm. looking for his views on Social Security, you'd keep going until you got to the S's. And if you we're looking for his views on on uh, taxation. You'd go to the T's if you were states' rights. Uh, you go on, to the S on, on yeah. wars. I guess you'd go to W. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and <laughs> and, uh, uh, and uh, I recently reread it, and uh, his views have not changed at all. So he's a constant. Yeah, yeah. In his mm -hmm. in his ideology. Yeah, and I, I even I even made some some notes mm -hmm. uh, uh, to kind of sum up. Uh, uh, his voting record, because oftentimes a politician will say one thing and then vote the opposite way. Yeah, but sometimes they're leaning with the party. Right. Uh, sometimes yeah, they it's get a compromise frustrated situation. or they want to make a compromise. Yeah. Yeah. But compromises, uh, we view a compromise as being a good thing. Compromises usually are not. For instance, if you had a couple that wanted to go on vacation and the guy wanted to go moose hunting with the mm -hmm. with the boys on on their vacation and the wife wanted to to go see a uh, a play in New York, mm -hmm. uh, so they compromise and go to Disneyland's Wild Kingdom. You know, <laughs> neither one's going to be happy. Right? <laughs> Sometimes that is the yeah, case, sure. uh, <laughs> which means everybody has to give. Yeah. But but this is a yeah, different yeah. different discussion. Go right. ahead. But I, I did take a few notes sure. and uh, from from Ron Paul speaks, and uh, he has never voted to increase a tax. Okay. Now, he was a congressman at that time for, I think, uh, uh, 10 terms. Uh, he has never voted for an unbalanced budget uh, or to restrict gun rights for any law that would restrict gun rights. Mm -hmm. uh, he's never voted to raise congressional pay, uh, and he's never taken a government paid junket, which most congressmen do, because mm -hmm. it's a, a freebie. Yeah, the uh, perk of the job. Yeah, uh, he uh, voted against the Patriot Act, uh, and he voted against regulating the internet. Okay. Uh, he doesn't participate in the government pension plan, which is a very lucrative pension plan, mm -hmm. where you get your pay for the rest of your life. Yeah. He doesn't participate in that, and he returns a portion of his of his budget to the Treasury Department, whatever is unused, mm -hmm. rather than. Spending it all. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Which is, you know, uh, and uh, uh, he's always voted to protect the Social Security. Uh, uh, I would say the trust fund, except the trust fund has nothing in it. Yeah. But he's uh, uh, he's voted to uh, that the money that's paid in in Social Security should not be used for any other purpose than mm -hmm. to pay benefits. Mm -hmm. And of course, that money right now goes into the general fund, and Congress mm -hmm. spends it on whatever whatever it wants. And then they issue government bonds, to uh, and and claim that that's the trust fund. Mm -hmm. But it's a a bond is nothing more than an IOU mm -hmm. written, uh, well, an IOU that pays interest. Uh, and but when the government writes an IOU to itself, you know, can you write an IOU no. to yourself and then? <laughs> collect on it, you know. <laughs> well, uh, but that's what they do. Uh, and, and so that there's never been 25 cents in the Social Security Trust Fund. There's just a, uh, that was not even actually a promise because uh, 
the Social Security Act is not a contract, and Congress can end Social Security anytime it, it wanted to. However, uh, it's not about to happen. And recently, we had the threat of the government uh, closing down, uh, and uh, Mr. Obama was saying, that, uh, well, we don't know if we're going to have money for the Social Security checks. Social Security checks will always go out as long as there are trees in Canada. Because if the mean? government can print money, or the Federal Reserve can print money out of thin air mm -hmm. and loan it into existence to the government, uh, since there's no cost to the money, why would, they, why, would, why would they do the one thing that it would see that they were it would be political suicide mm -hmm. for any congressman to, to uh, interfere with those flow of checks. Right. And even though uh, it's not an obligatory contract, mm -hmm. uh, there's no contract of adhesion, uh, those checks will go out. Uh, and you cannot, even if, the, even if Social Security never should have been enacted, which some people think it should, some people think it shouldn't have, uh, but because the American people were led to believe that they were going to get these checks, they planned their lives right. according to their retirements, and, mm -hmm. and they figured, well, we're going to have this coming in, and, and they might supplement it with a pension or with mm -hmm. savings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't just stop sending those checks. It would be like cutting people's legs off. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, when Ron Paul, uh, uh, prior to, to 08, there was a... Uh, uh, there was an act that uh, uh, that had the, a bill that had to do with protecting that money, that it could only be used, whatever came in, could only be used for paying benefits. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the Republicans and Democrats say they want to preserve Social Security. Mm -hmm. Ron Paul could only get six other congressmen to vote with him uh, to protect uh, the, that, uh, yeah. that Social Security money. Because it was a control issue. Because well, if they did that, then therefore that's a pool you can't tap into. Yeah, because they want to. They want to spend the money. Yeah. yeah. Because if you do that, then you can't tap yeah. into that money, and right. now you have to yeah. be creative. Sure. You have to make yeah. changes Either somewhere that or, else. Or cut expenses. So. Or cut expenses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you know, and remember, yeah. it's not. Yeah. What did you say? Right. It's not me right. or you. Yeah. It's the guy behind the tree. That's right. Tax the guy behind the tree. You can tax the guy behind the sure. tree. So cut the yeah. guy behind the tree's expenses. Yeah. Which is and, very and unrealistic. And of course, there are a lot of expenses that could be, could be cut. We're in, in uh, 130 countries, we have a military presence. Mm. I don't think there's 130 countries that are about to attack us. You know? not, that, not that we're loved in the rest of the world, but, mm. uh, uh, you know, tremendous expense. We have uh, 50,000 uh, uh, troops in, uh, in Germany. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I thought we won that war, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're protecting, we're providing military protection for Japan. Japan's yes, a wealthy nation. They should be able to pay for their own protection. Yeah. Well, that was part of a treaty that they signed right, right. that we said that we would do yeah. that. But you're right. Yeah. Things do change. Sure. And maybe sure. these programs, yeah. like our tax yeah. code, mm -hmm. like other things, yeah. really mm -hmm. need to be evaluated sure. and some open dialogue without the political rhetoric sure. on both sides yeah. from all yeah. countries yeah. need to say, no, we can pony up and take care of this, and we can sure. take care of that. And we have a kind, there has to be a kind of world ethics mm -hmm. on basic, just very basic sure, things. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that yeah. it will allow people to be responsible for right. themselves as opposed to having a big brother. Yeah. Or, a, you yeah. know what well, I mean? Well, we shouldn't be the policemen of the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can't afford to be that anymore. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the other, other thing is there, there are a lot of places where we could save money. We've got a bunch of unconstitutional agencies that spend a lot of money. They're, you know, they're very expensive. Uh, they don't produce anything. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, the uh, uh, Department of Education has never educated a single child. The Department of Energy has never produced a gallon of, of fuel oil. Mm -hmm. Uh, huge bureaucracies, mm -hmm. and they feed upon themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we've even got a situation where, with, with energy where, where we're uh, sending money down into, into uh, uh, South America 
uh, to pay for them to drill in the Gulf of Mexico, and yet our companies that haven't had spills aren't per permitted to drill there. So yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of things that could be done to, to bring things back. Under and do you think control. that there are people in Congress who recognize this and, and do have these ideas, but they just, they can't shift them? They can't, for whatever reason, well, they, they I just... I think some of these people, when they're elected, go there with, with uh, noble ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when they get them there, they must have a room where they sit them down and say, look, you want to stay in your job, you're going to do what we say, uh, you're going to do it this way, uh, or you'll end up like uh, uh, Congressman James Traficant. They trumped up charges on him and, uh, and put him in prison. And uh, the guy committed no crime. He did what a congressman is supposed to do. He was an uh, 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 advocate for his uh, constituents. Uh, but he, was, he was, uh, had some ideas that they didn't like. And so they punished him. Mm. So uh, I, I think they, you know, they have the fear of losing that congressional pension or, or, or losing their or job. being treated uh, uh, as other congressmen. They did the same thing to a congressman Hansen before that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, again, a person that had committed no crimes, but they trumped something up on him and made him a political prisoner and, of course, destroyed his career. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, have, has the, the way that we do business within ourselves, do you think it has become polarized by, by a party need versus individuals in Congress well, who represent their areas? Well, we have the, what we're told we have is a two-party system, but they're really the same party with a left and right branch. And they'll all agree on certain things, that we should have lower taxes, more, uh, more jobs, uh, uh, less government interference. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if they really wanted those, there have been times when the Republicans have had the White House, mm. the, the mm -hmm. Senate, sure. and, and the Congress, and there's been times when the Democrats mm -hmm. have had mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've both been in control at various times, and if they really wanted those things, wouldn't we have them? You would think so. Yeah. That's the way yeah. the system is supposed <laughs> yeah. to work. Yeah. But for some reason, it doesn't happen. Right. No, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't. No. And, but it's, I think and it's sad because we're, we're, we're sort of watching our, our nation being dismantled. Yeah. And there's a thing that, uh, uh, that's done in, uh, in organized crime, in the mafia. When they loan money to someone that, uh, uh, say, they want to start a business, a, a grocery supply, we'll say, for mm -hmm. instance, and they loan them the money, and for some reason they default on that loan, uh, they then take over that legitimate business. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they don't run it as a legitimate business. What they do is they use its credit to get in as much merchandise or to borrow as much money as they can and get that in the door, mm -hmm. uh, and they sell everything. They right. strip the place right down yep. to the, the bare bones mm -hmm. uh, and leave it in ruins. Right. It's, 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 uh, uh, they call it busting out a company. Okay. Um, and when I look at what we're doing in, in, uh, in our own government, it's as though they're busting out the United States. Uh, you How know, so? If, what are some examples? Uh, well, I you... think if, if we, because we have, have legitimate enemies in various parts of the world, mm -hmm. And I don't think they could do a better job of destroying us than we're doing ourselves. Hmm. You know, if, if, you, if you put them in, mm -hmm. in Congress or whatever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you said, look, we want to bankrupt this nation, so <laughs> they would just start spending money like crazy, yeah, like, you know, like drunken sailors. Yeah. <laughs> however, however, I ran into a former drunken sailor, and he was offended by that because he said he always stopped spending when his money ran out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, apparently their money doesn't run right, out. Right, right. <laughs> so what? So Ron Paul is is now again um, throwing his hat into the ring. Yeah. And and do you feel he's getting the same coverage that he received back uh, then? Well, is his message the same? So that therefore his has the Tea Party the same. kind of taken over? So it's not really him, and there's other people are just kind of going towards that direction, but not. I mean, how do you feel? Well, I, I mean, noticed that uh, like the first straw poll. Uh, uh, in Iowa uh, was won by Michelle Bachman. Mm -hmm. And Ron Paul was within one percentage point of winning that. 
which put him in second place. Mm -hmm. And when I turned on the news, I heard Michelle Bachman won the Iowa straw poll, uh, and then who was third, and who was fourth, and who was fifth. They never mentioned Ron Paul. Wow. <laughs> you know, and, and they were, it was almost a virtual tie. Mm -hmm. you know? And of course, since then, he's won several, several straw polls. But, okay. the, uh, but uh, I don't see a big thing about it in the, in the media. Yeah. Uh, however, I, I did take part. You know these people that call you up uh, and ask you uh, yeah. a presidential poll? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I did take part in one of those. And it was, it was quite interesting to, because the only questions were uh, basically who they thought would be the best president mm -hmm. and, and what issues are the most important. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it was an education. <laughs> well, they're, they, they're very specific. I mean, when yeah. they poll like sure, that, they, sure. they know the answer that yeah. they're looking yeah. in some cases to get, yeah. or they word their questions in a certain way. Um, but, it, but it has some legitimacy to it because people need to speak up and they need sure. to be contacted and they need to be told or have a voice in order to say what is important to them. Um, where do we go with Social Security? Uh, you know, well, Ron Paul is saying that we need... It needs to have its own fund. That fund needs not to be touched. Yes. So right now that's not the case. But right. in the long run, do we keep it? Do we not keep it? Is it if we reform the tax code, is it still part of that plan? Well, do we the, wean people off it? Do we privatize it? I remember during the sure. Bush years that was a big thing. Right. And, you know, I, I kind of like that idea. But at the same time, I'm like, and this was before all the stock market stuff hit. Yeah. I'm like, you know, my tr overall trust to move something from there right. to here right. is not yeah. quite there yet. Yeah. Because well, if the markets don't stay stable enough mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. overextend ourselves, you know, that's fine if Congress loses right. all our yeah. money, but now everybody loses all their money. Sure. And well, I just wasn't... Yeah. The, if, if the money people paid into Social Security was put into, into uh, like a private very conservative yeah, investments, private investment. uh, they would have made out far far better. Hmm. Uh, and when they died, the heirs would get whatever was left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, when a person dies today, the, the, uh, uh, they don't get their check anymore. <laughs> right. Well, uh, the, uh, that's but, one way of looking at Social it. Social Security, when it, was, when it was created, uh, the first three years, you could not put in a claim. And that was to give the impression that they were accumulating some funds. Oh, okay. uh, actually, it was just a, a charade. Uh, the first person to collect was a lady that lived in Connecticut, and she had paid in 24 or $25 in total, and she collected, I forget what size her check was, it wasn't very much money, but, but she collected and she lived to be like 100 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, at the time it was enacted, uh, the age you had to be uh, to start Social Security happened to coincide with the age at which people were dying. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if your life expectancy was, yeah. oh, was 60 or 65, or I can't remember which mm -hmm. it was, or 62, or that was, you had to be that old to collect. So most people that were going to collect Social Security would have died. Would not have, yeah. Or okay. would have got a couple of checks and died. Yeah. Uh, you know, on average. Uh, however, since then, uh, there's been medical advances and improvements in health and yeah, sanitation. People are a lot longer. And people are living a lot longer. Uh, uh, the age now is in the 70s. And, and, and it has gone up, the retirement yeah. age has gone up a little bit. Right, yeah. yeah. But the, uh, so they might want to think about pushing the age up at which you can collect. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, otherwise, the, the money's just not going to be there. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, the only way it can be created is by, by going further into debt, which is not, not good. But if we were to, so are you basically, are you kind of of the opinion that it, we shouldn't have it, we should phase it out? Well, it would be nice if we had a choice. Yes, that's you know? true, but we don't. And if, if we had a choice <laughs> where you could either go into Social Security or, or put an equivalent amount in some type of a pension plan. Which would be tax deferred. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then, pay. Now, but, but if the market bombs, you have no money. Well, uh, that's assuming it was put into stocks. Uh, no. Now, if okay. people put uh, money, say, in uh, a gold fund, 
Well, now they'd be doing good, but that's not them. But you know, but things change. I mean, when you yeah. invest in Social Security, you invest for the long haul. Hopefully, sure. Sure. you're investing for thirty years. Yeah. You know, if you're, you start when you're fairly young, and then you want it to grow over right. time, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but you have that advantage of, uh, with a long period of time, you have the advantage of compounding, hmm. and so that not only do you get interest, but then. You earn the following year. You earn interest on the interest. Right. And and compounding is like the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> compounding. But isn't that do, kind of not? Is that like a scheme in a way too? Uh, compounding. No. Uh, compounding works. Oh, okay. Uh, but it can be used to uh, uh, in deceitful ways. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, when we borrow money, uh, compounding works against us. Mm -hmm. And compounding, compound interest is very hard for the human brain to to uh, capture, mm -hmm. to, to uh, conceive. And uh, give you an example. Uh, if you were offered a job uh, to do, and it was going to last one year, mm -hmm. and you were going to get $100,000 in pay to do this job, mm -hmm. this project. Right? Uh, but they said, if you would rather, we will give you a penny today, mm -hmm. and we will double it every day. Mm -hmm. Which would you be better taking? The I don't know how to sit down to the math. <laughs> well, most people would take the $100,000. Right. Well, because in their mind, they'd be yeah. saying, well, today, one penny, tomorrow is two cents, uh, uh, now four cents, eight cents, 16 cents, right. 32 cents, 64 cents, a dollar 28, uh, two, whatever it is, uh, $5. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they, now they've gone through. Ten days and they're only up to like five bucks, right? <laughs> yeah, there's only so, 365 yeah. days. However, in a year. if you carry it out uh, for 31 days, you're a millionaire. If you carry it out for 365 days, you have all the money in the world because of compounding. Because of compounding, compounding. but okay. the brain can't grasp that for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you work it out, math, I mean, mathematicians know it because they sit down and punch the formulas in. in. Huh. Where, when we think of, um, let's, let's, we kind of touched a little bit on Social Security. We know that it's a program that needs, hopefully, to be sustainable. If we were to go to, in our last segment, when we talked about mm -hmm. the tax, changes mm -hmm. in the tax code, if we were to become a no-tax no, ta no income tax, no corporate tax, and mm -hmm. become that kind of tax mm -hmm. haven. Would we be able to manage a social security system? Well, I think if, if we went to a, uh, to a, a any alternative tax, uh, you have uh, Mr. Cain now with the 999 plan. But see, that still requires filling out an income tax form. Uh, and 999 is 27%, right? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound so cheap when you, you know. When he first said 999, I didn't even know he was German. <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> but, the, yeah. uh, but if we did have a, a sales tax, right. then you're taxing consumption rather than production. Mm -hmm. And there are people that don't pay taxes. There are, there are for various reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of illegal aliens don't pay taxes because they don't want anyone to know sure. where they are. Right. Uh, but if they consume, then they, they would be, be contributing. And people that are getting paid under the table are not right. probably filing taxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, there, there's uh, uh, criminals, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, dope dealers make huge amount. you know, uh, yeah. well, the cartels. Mm -hmm. uh, they make huge amounts of money, mm -hmm. uh, but they don't pay any taxes because to do so, they would be signing a confession. Right. So, right. so however, they all consume. When the illegal buys his, whatever he buys, clothing or whatever. He pays into that pool. A car or whatever. Mm -hmm. He would be taxed. Mm -hmm. and, and well, my whole thing is, is if you want to tax, tax a consumption, I don't necessarily have a problem mm -hmm. with that, but you've got mm -hmm. to, you've got to, you have to limit government. You have to, sure. you have to yeah. rearrange the tax code. In other words, you can't just tax me again and yeah. not give up something right. on the other yeah. end. 
because it doesn't make any sense to me. Now you're just get you're just taking, 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 and you're not creating, creating, creating. That's right. If you don't create jobs, you don't create a demand. Mm -hmm. So if you keep cutting, 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 mm -hmm. there's nothing left. You sure, have to build, sure. build, build. Well, when you think of where, where money migrates to, uh, we know there is a lot of money in the banks in the Cayman Islands. Mm -hmm. We know there's a lot of money in Liechtenstein and in the Swiss banks and stuff. Uh, uh, and other tax haven yeah, countries yeah. as and well. If the United States was a tax haven, yeah. Not only would American investment come back here, uh, I mean, there'd be companies would be lining up to get back into the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and we have a big consumer market. Uh, we have right. a very savvy consumer consumer oh, yeah, market yeah, in America. Yeah. And you know, if we if we were to put tariffs uh, in place, uh, the 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 thing with uh, with the tariff is it equalizes to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. uh, it sort of levels the playing field. Uh, so that if you have, for instance, you, you buy things from China, well, there's a lot of shipping involved. Yes, there is. We ship scrap metal to China, and China ships us manufactured products. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the shipping is long distance, it's expensive. Yeah, it pollutes uh, the earth. Yeah, uh, and, and well, that's the other thing. We, we, uh, we have a lot of regulations that have shut down the foundries in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, made it difficult to produce steel here. Mm -hmm. So we get those things from overseas, mm -hmm. but a lot of these countries do not have environmental uh, regulations, mm -hmm. and so they pollute the, pollute the atmosphere. Which comes back to us anyway. Which, it's, it's the same planet. You know, <laughs> I know. We're not I know. What were we thinking, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we do it over there, it won't affect right. us over here. And right. that's why I think there has to be that kind of, there, there has to be some rules for the planet. You know what I mean? That yep. just kind of, that everybody just has to go by. So if you're unhappy about mm -hmm. it, you can go piss them on in the corner, but it really doesn't matter because we right, all have to right. breathe. Yep. And we all have to eat. Sure. And we're sure. almost time to wrap. So okay. what are you going to leave me with? <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, well, okay, I'll leave you with this thought. 25 years ago, we had Ronald Reagan, Johnny Cash, and Bob Hope. Mm -hmm. Now we have Mr. Obama, no cash, and no hope. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, David. You're, it's you're always more than, enlightening. You're more than welcome. <laughs> to have you. <laughs> and I know that we will have you back again. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Keep the conversation going. Have a great week.